almost everyone is talking about uh, GPT and it's obvious that it's a real uh, progress in this field. But I think that now we should take care also about the revolution of Gemini because it is in fact the first model to outperform human experts on what we call massive multitask language understanding. So the idea is to evaluate uh, the two things, to compare them and to see that um, in the field of the multitask and the multimodal task, we have already a big difference which makes the difference between Gemini and GPT. So I think that now we should um, try to study much more um, the technical report about Gemini and see um, that we can use it uh, at least at three levels, the Nano, the Pro and the Ultra, and we can do almost uh, anything because we can talk to Gemini, we can write to Gemini, we can show it a picture, a videos, something which is rather complex to understand and in fact it can uh, give us a solution, a proposition uh, in many fields. So we have to do this uh, in a more deeply way and to understand what is the difference between the two systems. Because now we have, uh, like uh, the period with AlphaGo, a new revolution on the field. And this time it is much more um, close to our life. So it's not only a strategic game, it's not only something which is um, only for experts, it's for everybody. So every human has now the opportunity to test it. And I think that we should do this uh, in order to understand the, the big jump in the field because it's very important as it will be our future.